Today we will play a game called Minecraft. But we have an unusual episode today because we are all pregnant today and at the end of the series we will have finally had our children. And we have come to an uninhabited spit where there is almost nobody and nothing. We need to survive to build comfortable conditions for us and give birth. Hello, friends! Hi, dear subscribers! Yes, you did not hear us. We are pregnant and will survive on a desert island. There are some animals, one tree, and of course, several mysterious places that will help us survive. I hope it'll be a lot of fun and we'll get through this or we won't have kids. Hello! Since we are on a deserted island and all around us only water, we need to save all the resources that we will get, whether it is tree seedlings or some kind of wood. We will always need resources and we will not be able to just go to the forest because we do not have it here. We need to make our own trees to get some wood. Hello? I believe in us all and hope we will overcome all difficulties despite the fact that we are pregnant. It's going to be a little hard, but we're going to have to do everything for our lives and for the lives of our future children. If we succeed, we will live on this island in comfort and nothing will stand in our way. The first thing we need to do is get the tree, which is the only tree on this island. It is very big, so we will get a lot of seedlings and wood from the first tree. As if it were just for us, it has grown so much. Now you need to quickly cut down and then just wait for the seedlings to fall in the future to plant new trees for felling. Then I made a workbench and I need to make tools for everyone so we can get faster everything we have on the island. It's just so we can make it tonight so we have beds. But first we only need tools like hoes, axes, pickaxes and shovels. You need a shovel to dig sand, a pickaxe to mine a rock. Well, I'd sooner run with a shovel and get us some sand in the house. We need it very much because it is made of glass, which can be inserted into the windows as well as make bottles of water because water is vital. To make glass, you have to put sand in the stove and put fuel in the form of wood and wait for the sand to melt into glass. So my task will be quite simple. I need to collect grass and extract wheat seeds from it, which will go to our garden in the future. We plan to make a lot of buildings so that we and our children can live in peace on this island and have nothing to fear. That's why we're gonna work so hard. I think it's time to start building our house. We have already got a lot of logs from wood and we can turn them into wood and start building a house. It will be smaller, but less comfortable for us. Soon, when we build our house, we will make room for our children so that we do not crowd in one room. But first, we have to make the foundation of our house. So, my job in building a house is of course to build window frames to insert windows, as well as to build a ceiling. We'll have windows everywhere so we can keep our eyes open because we have beautiful views everywhere. We also need to build doors because the inhabitants of this island climb into our house. This is the best. Okay. I'm going to run around the island and put seedlings that fell out of our tree. They turned out as many as eight pieces. They are enough to protect our house. You just need a little time to wait and grow new trees from such small bushes. Then we will collect saplings from them and plant more trees. And now I will go for a rock. Here is the boulder. We need very little of it, but it is better to accumulate a stock because it is the second most important object in Minecraft. We'll make a stove out of it, as well as stone tools that will make our work twice as fast. You can also make a beautiful view of our house from the stone, not the same type of wooden. So here we are at home. Now I need to scrub the stove on the workbench. It is done very simply. Just need to put a circle on the workbench. On this stove, we will just start making glass. It is good that all resources are ready and we can melt. Unfortunately, we're still out of wood, so we need to go get it for someone. So, since we have already made the basis of the house, you need to think about beds! We do not have wood yet, but there is time to look for wool. Oh, I noticed some construction where there is a web, 
And as everyone knows, if you break the web with a sword, the thread will fall. And of the four threads on the workbench just can make wool. This is just a genius idea. And now I will get all this thread. There was a chest where I found some bones and converted them into bone meal. Thanks to her, we will now grow our trees, which save us very well, and we will finally have wood. We can finally make windows in the house, as well as a wooden floor, which is so much missing. Yeah, well, we got some wood. So right now we're gonna clean out our floor space and finally put a tree up. It'll finally be warm in our feet and we can move quietly here without fear of freezing our feet. Just now, you will need to throw some wood into the oven to melt the glass in parallel. Now we've got some melted glass and we can put the first windows in our house. At last, we have good progress on building a house and not too hard to build because we're pregnant and we're not allowed to do hard work at all. But no, we feel great and nothing hurts. Well, I am finally doing windows in our house now because all the glass has melted. I hope we have all the windows we have. If it does, we will officially finish building our house because Pinkie Pie has already made our beds because she has the strings and we have everything for living in this house. And now Fluttershy and I have decided to build our wheat garden. It will be on the beach because there is water and we will not need to make a bucket of water to make a vegetable garden right near our house. It is already convenient for us to go down to the shore and collect our crops. We can from the very beginning a large vegetable garden because we have gathered a lot of seeds. We have a very coordinated work because while Twilight Sparkle builds the garden itself, I do it. Not for nothing we have a wooden hoe. Now, I'm just going to make a patch, plant a seed of wheat, and we're just going to have to wait until it's all grown up and we can already eat the bread that we're going to make of wheat. Okay, well, I'm going to pick some more wheat seeds from the grass because the bigger the better. It is good that we have a good biome on this island and we have a lot of grass, flowers, as well as a lot of sand. Oh my God, I found some cave where there's a chest. Wow, there's a lot of different kinds of plants, golden apple and bone meal. How lucky I am. Okay, and now we are going to start building the second floor of our house. We will use it for storage. But before we do that, we need to make some stairs so we can get directly to this second floor. Personally, I'm about to build a foundation that my pony friends can help build. We are great with you well, that in one day, we are already building the second floor in our house. It is good that we have wood. So I will now build as well as on the ground floor. My task is to build window frames as well as a ceiling. We will have unusual windows. They will be one block high and full wall length. I think it will be very stylish and it will not be immediately clear that there is a warehouse. A sort of secret warehouse of things we will have in the house. This is very cool. Now we will build the interior of our warehouse. It will be very large because the whole room around will be filled with chests. We don't have many things, but we haven't dug caves yet. That's why we're going to have old tools, rock, and the rest of the ore. All this will be done to reserve, so that we do not constantly go to the mines and take from here. This is a very good idea, because it saves all our time that we spend. So, now we have a very important task. As you have seen on our island, there are chickens, cows, and pigs. So now we want to make a small pen for them where we will breed them. Cows will give skin and milk and pigs meat pork. This is a very good idea because we will be with them and more fun and our children can play with them immediately. To lead cows, you just need to show them wheat because they love it very much. The main thing is to feed them. Now, if Fluttershy is leading the cows to our house, I will lead the pigs. Good thing we found the carrots, cause it'd be hard to get them all to our house by hand. They are naughty and run in different directions and very quickly. That way, they follow me so fast for carrots and I can take them to our house. They're all so cute and there's plenty of them on this island. So we're not gonna have any problems with the mumps kids because they're going to be multiplying really fast. So, and now we will make a fence for our corral of animals. It is done very simply and very well that we have a lot of wood. 
To make a fence, we need only sticks and wood. Now you will see how to make it. It is very good that you do not need any bolts. And you can just make of the improvised materials on the workbench. So, well, now we start to make a fence. We will make it right outside the house, but you need to do it very carefully and leave no gaps. Because if there are gaps, our animals will just be able to jump this fence and this pen will become completely useless for use. And now we have to get all the animals into our corral. It's going to be a pretty simple task because all the cows are there and you just have to bring them here. We made a beautiful gate so you could walk here with ease and not jump. But in order to make it much easier, we will better guide them through the fence because there are many of them and they are unlikely to be able to all go into one gate together. They just don't fit in it, that's all. By building our nice animal enclosure, we have completed all external tasks. Now we only have to build a room for our children. It will be quite simple because we already have our house and just need to make a small annex where fit four beds as well as toys with things for them. Now, I'm gonna lay the groundwork for our house as usual and then Pinkie Pie is gonna help me build my whole house. Also, I need to immediately tear down all the ground where there will be a floor because we will also make it wooden. So, my job will be to make the floor, the beams at home, and the ceiling, of course. Now we will quickly handle this task and we will have everything ready for our survival. We all manage so quickly, I remind you. We did it all in one day at Minecraft. But soon we will have to go to bed because we are very tired and we will soon have children to care for. I love surviving here so much. It's so great. Okay, I'm about to finish the final part of building the foundation of this room. I need to make walls as well as window frames because children also need to look at everything that happens around them and it will be interesting. We have a rather spacious room and the children will definitely like it. We even have glass from last time. And now we quietly insert all the windows and we will be a beautiful room. Now, to finish this room, we just need to make the interior of this room. Children must have a workbench to try to do something for themselves. There will also be a stove to their room was warm, and of course there must be a chest in which they will put their toys and not only... Okay, and I'm going to arrange toys for them. They are made very simple, and I made them in my spare time. They turned out very cool, and I think they should like it. Here there will be entertainment for every child of our house, and we will have them. Four. This room is beginning to transform very well, and it becomes even more beautiful than our room where we live. This is so cool. Well, we've finished our business, and we can rest in peace now that we've done everything. We have a very beautiful house with a second floor and even room for our children. We worked very hard during this episode and must be very tired because we are pregnant. Do you like to survive on this island, girlfriends? I really like to survive here. There are no bandits and evil mobs here. There is a separate civilization where there is no one. Only we and our animals now. We managed to make a vegetable garden, a corral for animals, and also accumulated a lot of resources. We have trees behind the house and everything belongs to us. We are great people with you and I am glad to survive with you here. I really like it here. There is a calm atmosphere and only we are here with you. Despite the fact that we are pregnant, we are able to do many different things here. We have already developed so well that we can live here quietly and not complain about everything. We have food and water as well as many resources that help us survive here. So now I want to go to our garden and collect the whole harvest. Oh my God! We have grown all the wheat we have planted and now we have plenty of food for our animals. And we can also make a lot of bread for us and our future children. The main thing is to collect all this and do not forget to put back the seeds. Otherwise, we forget about it and cannot eat again. When we brought the pigs here, we noticed there was a chest under our house in the lake. Let's quickly see what was stored there so that we did not have time to collect. Oh my God. 
Here were all the initial resources that we needed so much. Here we have coal and several buckets of water and lava. And also, a little iron and pickaxe. It's very cool. It's too bad we didn't find it from the start. Now it's finally night! And we can sleep in peace! We have done a lot today, and we are likely to have our beloved children born after the night, which we are so looking forward to. We have the most comfortable environment that we have created specially for ourselves, and it is very cool. Now we will sleep quietly in our comfortable beds and wake up with new strength. Finally, we go to bed. I am so tired for today. I hope that tomorrow we will finally see our children and can rest and play with them in peace. It was the longest survival I've ever seen, and I'm happy that we got through it and built this house. And besides that, a vegetable garden and an animal pen. Now I'm just in the mood to get some sleep, and that's it. Let's have a quiet sleep without talking, but we are all so tired. I want to rest and finally have our children. The stove warms us perfectly, and we will not freeze tonight. And you cannot be afraid of evil mobs that are not even on this island. It's so cool living here. I'd stay here for the rest of my life, even with the kids. Oh my god, here comes the morning. Good morning to everyone. Wow, we have our children at last, and now we live here not in four, but in eight. It's very fun. It's good that our house is designed for so many people. They're so frolic together. They seem to enjoy spending time with each other from the first minutes of their lives. They're so cute. Wow, how cute all of them are. They're so much like us, as if they were a copy of us. My child is very like me. He even has a color like me. They have so much fun. I want to play with them more quickly. And yesterday we worked so hard that there was not enough time just to relax. It's good that we slept. And now we have a lot of energy to spend time with the kids. Pinkie Pie, you've clearly noticed that they look a lot like us. They seem to have enjoyed our activity yesterday, and they're just as keen and full of energy. It looks like we charged them pretty hard yesterday, and now they're not going to calm down. We need to show them their room, as well as build them a playground so they can put their energy. Yeah, right. We built a room for them all yesterday. Come on, let's show her, or they'll break something in our room. We certainly do not regret, but it would be better for them to play in their room. They have so many toys, as well as their own beds on which you can jump. Here is your room, our children. We tried very hard over it and think you will like it. They're so good at frolicking, they seem to like the beds we built for them the most. They're all so cute. I can't believe that while we had them in our belly, we built so much for them and for us. It turns out we did everything, not only by their work, but also by their work. Aha, Fluttershy! And you're right, we did more than just our work. In fact, we had as many as eight people who worked on everything on the island. One outside and one inside. How wonderful, ha ha. Let them still try the toys that we made for them because they only play on their beds. This is certainly cool, but better toys. They have so much energy. It looks like future helpers are growing with whom we will continue to build this island. That's really cool because four people is good and eight is better. Ha ha. Perhaps it is time to start building a platform for them, so let's go build on the street a few things on which they will be interested to play. We've done enough things so that the kids can play here. They'll have a whole slide, swings, and double swings for two. We will also make a basketball ring with a ball and, of course, a lot of toys to play with. Since we have girls, we will make them dolls and a stroller to play in the family. Finally, we have finished all our business. Everyone, Finally, they can play in their own playground. They have everything at their disposal, and a slide to ride, and swings, and even a ladder to develop your hands. In addition to all this, they have a large toy chest from which they can take any toy that is there. And no one's gonna take them away, because there's only four of them, and they're gonna share. They are so cool to play. Well, that we have built them a playground, I look forward to get to them and play with them. And yesterday we tried so hard yesterday, not even rested. Now today we can run with them and do nothing because we have all done. The main thing is not to forget about our animals and vegetable garden. 
This is the end of our survival series on the island. It turned out very cool because we have done so many things that will help us now on this island. If you also like this series, then go with your likes and write comments. Also, subscribe to our channel. See you